Welcome to our seat cover installation guide. First step is to zip open the bag and grab out the front two seats and separate them. Next, you'll unzip the small zipper on the side of the seat. You'll pull out the bottom piece from the seat cover. Next, you'll unbutton the top of the seat cover. And if you're able, it is easiest to remove the headrest from the seat before sliding the seat cover over the seat. Make sure to pull from the bottom of the seat cover and take your time if they require some back and forth when sliding the seat cover down. Next, you'll button the buttons on the top of the seat. Slide both of the buckles through the crease of the seat. You'll grab these later. Next, you'll fold the edges around the seat and tuck into the plastic if applicable on both sides. Next, you'll take the front buckles, extend them to maximum length and feed them to the back. Reach them as far back as possible. Then you'll move the seat all the way forward. Next, if applicable, you will remove the flap that is hiding the buckles that were fed through the crease of the seat. These are typically attached by elastics. Here's a view of what's happening underneath the seat with that flap. There are the buckles we fed through the crease. You will connect them to the buckles from the front and pull tight. Make sure to pull towards the front on the last pull. You do not want to pull super tight on these. As long as they're snug, you're good to go. Remember to pull towards the front on the last pull. This will ensure a snug fit into the crease of the front seat. Here's a view with the seat upright. Try your best to keep the nylon belt from not spinning. If the belt is flat, it's going to be at maximum strength. Click and pull these tight. Pull towards the front on the last pull. Next, you'll reattach the flap that was undone up underneath the seat. Finally, pull the seat cover together so the zippers are parallel and zip down. Next, you'll pull the headrest out of the front seat cover. Typically, the largest headrest will go on the front seats. You'll slide this headrest cover down the headrest and pull tight towards the bottom, then Velcro it together. This process can happen with the car headrest on the seat as well. Front seat's done. If your bench seat is connected to the car, skip to 451. If your bench seat has room underneath it, keep watching. Take the bench end cap with the Velcro towards the middle, laid on the end of the bench. Make sure the edges of the seat cover are flush with the edges of the bench. Feed the buckles through the bottom of the bench. Cross the buckles, connect them, and pull snug. All excess nylon can be trimmed or tied up. You will do the same process on the other side. Position the end cap cover with the Velcro towards the middle. Feed the buckles through the crease between the backrest and the bottom bench. Cross these buckles, connect them and pull snug. Grab the flat piece with the buckles on it, line it up evenly, stick this flat piece on the Velcro strips and feed the buckle through the crease. Flip the seat up, grab the buckle, Connect it. And pull snug. Bench seat complete. 
For cars or SUVs that you cannot reach underneath the bench seat, you will need to remove it or at least lift it enough to feed the buckles underneath. The bench seat is connected to the car by two anchors located directly behind each front seat. Typically, these can be removed by just pulling straight up, but sometimes you will need to pull a lever in order to release the anchor. To find out which process you have, feel for the anchors. If you don't feel a lever system, then you can just yank the seat up. Grab the two rear end caps and lay them on the seat with the Velcro strips towards the middle. Free up all the buckles and position the cover so that it's tight on the edges. Do this the same on the other side as well. Once the Velcro is parallel, you can flip the bench seat over. Free up the buckles again. And you'll cross the buckles, then click them together. You're going to want to pull them until they're snug, but not super tight. Make sure you're crossing them so the piece is straight on the seat. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure to straighten them so the Velcro strips are parallel with each other. And you'll grab the plain piece with buckles on it. You may need to remove these from each other. Line it up with the end caps on the bottom and lay it on the Velcro strips. Flip the seat over and buckle them together. Once this is buckled up, your bench seat is complete. Place the bench seat back in the vehicle and make sure to feed the seat belt buckles appropriately. Next is the process for all vehicle backrests. Grab the flat backrest pieces and position them with the curved edge towards the outside. Next, you'll grab the plastic wheels and slide it on the elastic. On one side of the wheel, rotate 90 degrees and slide the elastic on the other side of the wheel. Do this for all of the elastics on the backrest pieces. At the top of the backrest cover, buckle the cover around the headrest. You'll slide the backrest up towards the headrest and tuck it under, if applicable. Then pull the buckles tight. Free up the seat belt. And then do the same thing on the other side. Buckle around the headrest, slide the backrest cover upwards, and pull tight. Next, you will wedge the wheels in the crease of the backrest and the bottom bench. These will need to be pushed all the way through so they settle behind the car seat. Grab the piece with the two strips of Velcro on it, position it in the middle of the seat, and stick the Velcro to the rear of the backrest covers. This wheel will need to be stuck through the crease as well. Grab the appropriate size headrest for the rear headrest. If you have an adjustable rear headrest, slide it over top the headrest and pulling tight, Velcro it together. Tuck any excess material underneath the headrest. If your headrests are removable, it's easiest to remove them before putting the headrest cover on. Position it correctly and stick the Velcro tight. If your headrest is not adjustable, or if it's one piece with the seat, slide the headrest on and tuck it behind the backrest cover. Then wedge the piece of Velcro behind the back headrest. Install complete.